Hello, welcome to the world of maths by Amiya. Let's solve a question. If in triangle PQR, angle Q is 90 degree and Q is perpendicular to PR, where S is a point on PR, C, C1 and C2 are circumcenters of triangle PQR, triangle PQS and triangle QRS. If PQ is 8 cm and PR is 15 cm, then find length of line segment C1, C2 and area of triangle C, C1, C2. At a first glance, it seems to be one of the toughest questions of right angle triangle and circumcenters. But believe me, this is the one of the easiest questions if you know the concept. Now start with the concept. Concept number one. If we have a triangle ABC and point P and Q are nothing but the midpoint of sides AB and AC respectively, then we know by the midpoint theorem side PQ is half of the BC. Side PQ is half of the BC. This is the first concept. The second concept is if we create another point say S which is again the midpoint of side BC, then area of triangle PQS is one fourth of area of triangle of triangle ABC. Area of triangle PQS is the one fourth of area of triangle ABC. I hope this one is known to you. And last concept, if we have a right angle triangle, then Circumcenter is nothing but the midpoint of hypotenuse. I hope you know all these three concepts. Now use these three concepts in our question. We know according to data PQR is one of the triangle and Q is a 90 degree. So we have one right angle triangle known as PQR and QS is perpendicular on PR. So we have three right angle triangles. The first C is the circumcenter of PQR. C is the circumcenter of PQR and C is the midpoint because PQR is the right angle triangle and the circumcenter is nothing but the midpoint of hypotenuse. And C1 is the circumcenter of PQS. PQS is again the right angle triangle. So the C1 is the midpoint of side PQ. And C2 is the circumcenter of QRS. QRS is again the right angle triangle. So the C2 is nothing but the circumcenter of triangle QSR and C2 is the midpoint of side QR. I hope we used the concepts. Now PQ is 8 cm. This complete length is the 8 cm. PR is 15 cm. And we need to find the length of line segment C1 and C2. So we know C1 and C2 are nothing but the midpoints. We join the midpoints which becomes half of the hypotenuse or half of the base. So the answer of C1 and C2 being the midpoints, if the base is 15 cm, the, so the length of C1 and C2 is nothing but 15 by 2 cm. That is 7.5 cm. I hope this one is clear. Now area of triangle C, C1, C2, that is again the midpoint triangle. If we find the area of complete triangle PQR, then the area of the required triangle is nothing but one fourth of the area of triangle PQR. We have right angle triangle. This one is 8 cm. This is 15 cm. We can say this is nothing but 15 square minus 8 square. That is under root 225 minus 64, which again becomes 161 cm. And we know the area of triangle PQR is half into P into B. So the area of triangle PQR is nothing but half into perpendicular into base 161. That is nothing but under root 161 into 4. This is the area of triangle PQR. And we are looking for area of triangle CC1, C2, which is nothing but the midpoints of the sides. So the area of triangle CC1, C2 is one fourth of the area of triangle PQR. That is nothing but 4 root 161, 4 fold cancel out. So the, our required answer is root 161. And this is our answer for second question. I hope this is clear to you. Whenever you have a question, believe me, question is meant to be solved. Read the question, try to understand which concept we are going to use and use the concept. I hope it is clear to you. But even if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me either on this video thread or on Facebook. Thank you and happy learning.